we can see that many, many people need the, need the services, they need the support, and above all, they need the protection. So we need to look not just at the bounds of the camp here, but we need to be able to look outside and think how people can be protected from the violence. And it's particularly children and women, people with medical conditions and disabled people, who need the support. But equally, there are many, many young men in particular, but men generally, who also need protection. And they are being discriminated and uh, forced, uh, not, uh, not allowed to come to the, to the camp very often. And that's another big challenge that we have to face. Of course, it's going to require more uh, uh, for as long as it takes, whilst the violence and the cause of the humanitarian crisis that we have here, both in nutrition terms, uh, for water provision, for removing uh, waste, and also making sure that we have good shelter uh, and educational opportunities, uh, as well as protection, are made available. You can see by the spacing, it's a very intense camp here. It has got services, but it uh, has now got an extension. We're standing on the divide as I speak. And that is now also full. So what is clear to me is that whilst there has been a real step up to trying to make sure that people who are fleeing from the violence and the fighting and the uncertainty and terrible fear that is around here in Wow and the surrounding area, uh, there is also a need to make sure that the services, as more people come in, both from the town but also from the rural areas, uh, that we can support them even outside the camps with services and give protection. So that requires uh, more patrols. I've come to see for myself in a wheel, a, a place where I know reasonably well from the past, is to see the development of the humanitarian needs here. You can see it in the eyes of the mothers cradling extremely malnourished babies in the uh, stabilization unit of the hospital. And it's absolutely vital that we make a proper assessment of the scale of need, which has arisen because of all the challenges, both climate and harvesting and seasonal, uh, as well as the context where there is uncertainty and even, uh, certainly in many other parts of South Sudan, uh, fear. I have to say I've been very impressed and encouraged by the teamwork that's taking place right across the board uh, with the funding which we need to generate, uh, supporting some really outstanding work which is really saving lives and helping people to feel safer and protected.